This cross on your screen has watched over one of our city's most historic churches for almost 200 years. It came down during Ida and now it is finally back. Good evening and thanks so much for watching. I'm Whitney Miller. St. Augustine Church marked the cross's return with a ceremony today. It's one of the oldest black Catholic churches in the U.S. And as Lily Cummings shows us, this is just one step in their recovery from the storm. Since 1814, St. Augustine Roman Catholic Church has stood tall. Its steeple overlooks Treme, the oldest African-American neighborhood in the U.S. At the top usually sits a cross. Hurricane Ida caused the cross, 180-year cross, to bend over. And it's just took until recently for them to take it down and get it repaired. It's all iron. The archdiocese, parishioners, and community organizations such as Friends of Treme Culture secured funds to repair it. I mean, it was in bad shape. Daryl Reeves used his blacksmith skills to bring it back to life. I'm confident this one is not going to bend in 200 years. It might make, maybe it might go three. <laughs> Reeves says it's restored to its original condition. The only change was reinforcing the base so it doesn't topple over again. And all of Treme can see this particular cross. They can then see in us a group of people willing to commit ourselves to help others, to sacrifice like our ancestors had done. In the late 1800s, St. Augustine was one of the most integrated congregations in the nation. Now parishioners worship in the parish hall after Ida caused severe damage to the sanctuary. We On Sunday, the cross was blessed and set to be installed we later this week. And it represents, you know, everything that the church represents. So it's been up there all of those years and it took a hurricane to bend it over. So it's very significant because it represents, you know, spirituality and, and the history of this city and this neighborhood. The symbol of hope will stand as a testament to the community and remind them that faith is stronger than any storm. Lily Cummings, WWL, Louisiana. Friends of Treme Culture will host its annual Treme Fall Festival this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 6, and some of the proceeds from that event will support the church's restoration.